Now here are some key points related to subtraction. Number one, if a number is subtracted from itself, the resulting difference is zero. This means that if you subtract a number from itself, for example, pi minus pi will be equal to zero. Let us prove that. Again, coming back to our same example, you have got five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. And subtraction means taking away or removing. So you have got five oranges and you remove all the five oranges or you gave away all these five oranges to your uh, friend. So now you are left with no oranges. So this no oranges means nothing. And nothing means big zero. Okay. So if a number is subtracted from itself, the resulting difference is always zero. It may be any number. 96 minus 96 equal to zero. 49 minus 49 will be equal to zero. 936 minus 936 will be equal to zero. So the fact is that if a number is subtracted from itself, the resulting difference is always zero. The next point is when zero is subtracted from any number, the resulting difference is the same number. It means pi minus zero equal to pi. You have got five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. And out of that, you gave, you gave zero. This zero means nothing. You became selfish and you gave nothing or no oranges to your friend. So if you do not give anything, obviously, you will be left with the same number of oranges. So 5 minus 0 is 5. Similarly, you take any number 99 minus 0. 0 is 99. 459 minus 0 is 459. You can arrange these minuend and subtrahend either horizontally or vertically like this. So you may write anything, 100 minus 0, you give nothing out of 100, so you are left with 100. Coming to the third point, it says, when 1 is subtracted from any number, the resulting difference is the previous number. Means, if you subtract 1 from 5, the result will be 5 minus 1, it will be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 apples. You take away 1 apple. So you are left with 1, 2, 3, 4. It's easier. So 5 minus 1 is 4. And on the number line, if you see, 4 comes just before 5. So this is 4 and then it is 5. So 4 comes just before 5. So this is what is meant by this statement. When 1 is subtracted from any number, the resulting difference is the previous number. 99 minus 1 would be 98. 98 comes before 99. So 98 and 99. So you must be remembering that for addition, for the case of addition, addition if you add one number if, if you add one to any number suppose say five if you add the answer would be five plus one will be six so six is the very next number of five to make you understand this in a better way let me draw a number line and make and write down five over there six and four so if you so five plus 1 will take you to 6 and 5 minus 1 will take you to 4. So minus 1 will take you to the previous number and plus 1 will take you to the next number. Please remember this. This will help you in solving many questions that comes in various exams. So let's take one more example. 49 plus 1 will be 50. 50 is the very next number of 49, whereas 
49 minus 1 will be 9 minus 1 8 4 minus 0 is 4 so 48 comes next to 49 so 48 49 and then 50 plus 1 from 41 here it is it takes you to 50 and minus 1 here I have done the calculation will take you to 48 the 49 plus 1 takes you to the next number that is 50 and 49 minus 1 takes you to 48 that is the previous number. If our videos and website www.decodemong.com helped you in any way, you may thank me by subscribing to my channel and clicking the like button. Please remember to share the videos so as to help other fellow students like you. For queries, please comment here or through contact page of our website decodemong.com. And above all, thank you for your patience.